Listen to Configuring Busy. In this chapter, we'll discuss about the features options, voucher series configuration, and the invoice document printing configuration options. Basically, under these options, we'll discuss only those features or only those options that are related to GST. So, first of all, we'll start with the features option. For this, we'll go to Administration, Configuration, Features Options, and then we'll click the GST VAT tab. Here, you can see a lot of options are appearing. First option is of type. That is the type of tax, VAT or GST. As we are discussing about GST, so here we'll take the type as GST. At the time of company creation, the default tax you have specified would appear here. So as we have selected GST there, so it's by default selected as GST. Next is type of dealer. By default, the type of dealer you have specified at the time of company creation would appear here. You can change it also as we are creating these series for regular dealers. We are discussing regular dealer GST. So we are taking the type of dealer as regular. Next is return filing frequency. Here three options are provided default, monthly and quarterly. Basically, you need to select that what is your return filing frequency. If you file GST return on monthly basis, then you can select the monthly option. If you file return on quarterly basis, then you can select the quarterly option. And if you are not sure of the return filing frequency, or you can say sometimes you opt for monthly filing and sometimes you opt for quarterly filing, then you can leave it to default option. Basically, this option is helpful at the time of uh, report generation. The option selected here would appear as by default option at the time of generating report. Next is GSTN. GSTN as specified at the time of company creation appear here. As this option is blank, it means we have not specified any GSTN at the time of company creation. So specify the 15 digit GSTN of your company in this data field. Next is default tax category. Here you can select the default tax category that can be tagged to the item master. This option is useful if you have items that mostly belongs to a single tax category. Then you can select the required tax category. Basically the tax category you will select here will be shown as the default tax category while creating item master and you need not specify tax category again and again. But if you have items with multiple tax rate then you can select the none option. Next is EV bill required. Specify yes in this data field if you are required to generate EV bill. Currently, we are only enabling the EV bill option and we will discuss it in detail in the chapter that we have created for the EV bill further in this series of GST training videos. Then is transport details in local sale purchase. Specify yes in this option if you want to input transport details in local that is within state sales purchase also. Basically on specifying yes in this option at the time of data entry that is while entering vouchers a transport details window will appear in case of local transactions also. Then is e-invoice required. Specify yes in this option if you want to generate e-invoices also. Again we have a full fledged chapter on e-invoicing where we will discuss it in detail. Then is enable tax on advanced receipts. Under GST, you need to pay tax or GST on advanced receipts also. So you can specify yes in this option if you pay tax on the advanced receipts from your party. Next option is GST portal username. Specify your GST portal username here. This is required for auto download of GSTR1, 2A and 3B. Then is enable says. If you deal in items that are eligible for sales, that is on which SS is also applied, then you can specify yes in this option and then specify the caption for the sales. Then is enable additional sales. If you deal in the items on which additional sales is also levied, then you can specify yes in this option and specify the caption for additional sales. Next is show sale purchase amount as taxable amount in GST reports. Specify yes in this option if you want to show sale purchase amount as the taxable amount. Now we'll discuss this option with the help of an example. Suppose you have a bill of 1000 rupees in which you have applied a discount of 100 rupees. Now if you have specified yes in this option, then the GST reports would show taxable amount as 900 rupees. And if you have specified no in this option, then in the GST reports, taxable amount would be shown as 1000 rupees and not the 900 rupees. Next option is show caption of sale purchase voucher as supply outward and supply inward. Basically under GST sale purchase are commonly termed as supply outward or supply inward. So in case in place of sales invoice, 
purchase invoice you want the caption or heading to be as supply outward or supply inward then you can enable this option so these are all options we have to discuss under features option there are certain other options also like then or allow switching between vat and gst using f12 key these options are basically meant for vat or they were used on in the year when gst was introduced in india so we are not discussing this options click save button to save this configuration after discussing the features option next we will discuss the voucher series configuration that is we need to configure the voucher series in which we will be using gst so for this we'll go to administration configuration voucher series configuration select the required voucher type and the series that you want to configure and click the voucher configuration button here we'll discuss options related to gst only so first we will be discussing the separate billing shipping details option specify yes in this data field if you want a separate billing shipping details window to appear at the time of voucher entry then is applicable for all parties or only cash bank parties specify key field gst report basis so all these further options will discuss during the data entry time the only thing we want to say here is that on enabling the separate billing shipping details window you would be able to enter separate billing or shipping details apart from the one that that is specified in the account master of the party next is input transport details specify yes in this option if you want to input transport details during data entry under features options we have also enabled the option of input transport details in local sale purchase basically on specifying why in in that data field transport details window will appear for local sale purchase transaction also but if you specify no here in the voucher series configuration then transport details window will not appear even in case of local transactions also even if you have enabled the option in features options also next is uh, generate e way bill after saving and generate e invoice after saving these options get activated on enabling the e way bill required and e invoice required option under features option specify yes in these options if you want to generate e way bill and e invoice on saving the voucher basically on specifying yes in this data field a generate e way bill or generate e invoice message box will appear on saving the voucher click save button to save this configuration Next we will be discussing the invoice document printing option. Under invoice document printing option you can configure your invoices or document for various options that is you can configure various options that you want to print in the invoice or you can disable various options that you do not want to print in the invoice. We will be discussing here only the standard option that is the standard format as set by PC. For this we are going to administration configuration invoice document printing configuration. select the voucher type that you want to configure we are taking it as sales voucher and next you can see the configure sales invoice window is appearing here at the left hand side a lot of options are appearing you can enable disable various options as per your requirement at the right hand side an option print tax summary is provided you can select whether you want to print tax summary with hsn or without hsn then in the body section there are two options appearing automatic and self configured automatic here means the body section will appear as per the configuration set by pc and next is self configured you can click the self configured option to self configured the body section of the invoice on clicking the self configured option you can see a window is appearing here various data fields are provided along with the number of characters to be used for printing those fields you can see under certain field zero is also written this means that these columns will not be printed in the invoice so you need to specify the width of the columns that you want to print in the invoice and if you do not want to print any column in the invoice then you can specify its character length or width as zero click save button to save this configuration so in this chapter we have discussed various features options related to gst various options provided under voucher series configuration and invoice document printing as per gst at the end of the chapter we have provided certain exercise you can view the exercise on screen and attempt it hope after going through this chapter you would be able to easily use various options related to gst in busy Thanks for watching for more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel